Okay, the directions for this section are to use integration by parts. So nicely, at least I know how to get started on my problem. This first one, we have the integral of the natural log of 1 plus x squared dx. So I know that I need to find a u and a du and a dv and a v. All right, so for this one, I'm going to pick u as my ln because we don't have a, an integral for it. So ln 1 plus x squared. And then the other part that would be left would just be dx, or we could put 1dx if that makes more sense. All right, so since we, I'm looking for the derivative of ln, it would be du over u. So the derivative of 1 plus x squared would be 2x, and then over u, which would be 1 plus x squared. And then on the right side, the integral of 1 would actually be x. So using my integration by parts, I'll have uv. So I'll have x ln 1 plus x squared, and then minus the integral of v du. So I'm going to have 2x over 1 plus x squared times x. And if I put that over a 1, I'll end up getting x natural log 1 plus x squared minus the integral of 2x squared over 1 plus x squared. All right, evaluating this integral, since the degree of the numerator is greater than or equal to the degree of the denominator, I'm going to use long division. So I will be dividing 1 plus x squared into 2x squared. And... Um, I'm actually going to rewrite this as x squared plus 1. It will make it easier to do the long division. So if I think of what do I need to multiply the x squared by to get 2x squared, it would be 2. So now I'll get 2x squared plus 2. And then I'm going to subtract. So I'll get negative 2 as my remainder. So um, that one in there, let me just write what we have. I have x ln plus x squared minus what I just found was um, that problem went in there two times and then we have minus the um, remainder which is 2 over x squared plus 1 and please keep in mind we're still taking the integral of both of those all right so now when we do this I'm actually going to rewrite this one time here one plus x squared I'm going to distribute that minus sign so I'm going to have minus the integral of 2 plus the integral of 2 over x squared plus 1 Alrighty, so we have x ln 1 plus x squared minus the integral of 2 is 2x. On this one, this looks like an arctan problem, so u will be x, du is 1. We'll just bump that 2 up front so we have a 1. And then my a is 1, so I'm all set for an arctan, so I'm going to have plus. We've got a 2 hanging there, 2 times 1 over a, which will just be 2. Arctan u over a. So that will just be our tan x. So that is my entire integral. I get to evaluate it now at 1 and 0. So if I plug in 1, I am going to get 1 natural log 1 plus 1 would be 2. So the natural log of 2 minus 2 plus 2 arctan 1. So that's my first part. And then minus, if I plug 0 in, 0 times anything will just be 0. 0 times anything will be 0, and then I'll still get 2 arctan of 0. Okay, so let's figure this out. I have ln 2 minus 2 plus 2 arctan of 1. Where does the tangent equal 1? It's at pi over 4, so it's going to be 2 times the pi over 4 minus the arctan of 0. Where does the tangent equal 0? That would be at 0. And then from here, I'm just going to simplify it one step. So I have ln 2 minus 2 plus 2 times pi over 4 will reduce to pi over 2. So that would be my answer for that problem. All right, number 6, we've got theta, secant theta, tangent theta. Well, let's do a u substitute, uh, integration by parts. So du, u, du, dv, v. All right, so on this one, I'm going to let u be theta. So that du will be 1, d theta. And then dv will be secant theta tangent theta d theta. Well, this actually will be, yeah, okay, I do believe I did that right. Okay, and then v is um, the integral of secant tangent is just secant. All right, so I'm ready for my parts. u times v will be theta secant theta minus the integral of v du. So this will be secant theta d theta. And hopefully we know our formulas at this point in time. We're going to have theta, secant theta minus the integral of secant is natural log of secant theta plus tangent theta, and then plus c. 
All right, we're going to evaluate the integral e to the 3x cosine of x over 3 by parts. You could easily pick either one for the, the u and the dv, but I'm going to just let u equal e to the 3x, and then the derivative would be 3 e to the 3x dx, and then my dv will be cosine of x over 3 dx. My v will be sine of x over 3, and it's always going to be the reciprocal of the x over 3, which will be 3, sine of x over 3, and then that's it. So now I'm ready to do my part, so I'm going to have u times v, so I'll have 3 e to the 3x sine of x over 3 minus the integral of v du, so that would be 9 e to the 3x sine of x over 3 dx, and then I notice I get to do integration by parts again. So let u equal 9 e to the 3x. My derivative will be 27 e to the 3x. Then my dv will be sine of x over 3 dx. My integral will be negative 3 cosine of x over 3. So now I'm ready to do my parts. I'm going to make sure, I'm going to bring down what I have here so far. I have e, 3 e to the 3x sine of x over 3 minus what I'm going to write down for my part. So uv will be negative 27 e to the 3x cosine of x over 3 minus the integral of v du. Um, since v du will be negative, this will turn to positive, so that's going to be negative 81 um, e to the 3x cosine x over 3 dx. Right, before I do, I'm going to do a couple things here, actually. I'm going to bring down what we started with, so I'm going to have the integral of e to the 3x cosine of x over 3 dx is equal to 3e to the 3x sine of x over 3. I'm going to distribute the negative to both parts, so I'm going to have plus 27e to the 3x cosine of x over 3 minus the integral of 81e to the 3x cosine x over 3 dx. I notice that my integrals match each other. I'm going to actually put this 81 out front. So I'm going to get them together by adding 81 of my integral over to my right side. And then since they're, those are both like terms, this would be like 1 of the integrals plus 81 of the integrals, which will give me 82 of those integrals. and that will equal 3e to the 3x sine of x over 3 plus 27e to the 3x cosine x over 3. And then to get my integral by itself, we are just going to divide both sides by the 82. And without rewriting that all, I'm just going to scribble out that 82, and then we will have plus c. And then I do believe that will be our answer, so there we got it.